Hello, so this is just a little introduction of, on how to fit a mouthpiece together prior to collecting some expired air using Douglas bags. I've got my equipment here set up ready. So I've got a pair of gloves, nose clip, one mouthpiece, two way valve system, and the tube that's going to connect the two way valve system to the Douglas bags. First thing I'm going to do is put my gloves on. Now I'd recommend we all wear gloves doing this. Because we're going to be handling the mouthpiece, I think for hygiene reasons it's important to make sure uh, we always use gloves when we handle these because we're going to put this together and then give it to the participant who's going to place it in their mouth. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to talk about, and it's the most important part, is the two-way valve system. The first thing to do is to fit the mouthpiece onto the system. Nice and straightforward here. It's just key to know that the mouthpiece is always going to go in the middle of the two-way anola. Two-way anola, two-way valve. When you fit it on, I'd always recommend you fit it on like this. So the weight of the two-way valve is going down. Some people put it on sideways, but then the weight is in the middle and it sort of causes it to drop a little bit. So I'd always recommend putting it on straight that would go straight into the mouth itself. And then, in terms of which end to connect the two, if we just look into the, the system, we can see on one end there's a spring that I can push down, and at the other end I can't push anything in at all. Now this is important because when the participant has a mouthpiece in his mouth or her mouth, when they breathe in, they draw in air from the atmosphere, that pressure when we breathe in is causing the spring to come down to draw air into the valve Then when we breathe out it pushes down the tube so the spring pops back up so the air can't go back into the atmosphere it's got to go downwards so therefore that's where we will collect or this, that's where we will pop our tube on so we breathe in air draws into the system we breathe out pushes it down the tube which will then connect the Douglas bag and obviously the participant will wear a nose clip on their nose to ensure they breathe in and out of their mouth. Also it's important to note when the participant uses the mouthpiece all this goes into the mouth like this. Okay and now we're ready to connect this to the Douglas bags. Okay, so this is the Douglas bag system. These are the bags we use to collect expired air. And within these bags, what we can do is put the calculations of oxygen and carbon dioxide into an, uh, an equation, and we can calculate VO2, fat, and carbohydrate oxidation, and a host of other measurements. So what, we're gonna, what I'm gonna show you in this little video is once we've, we've uh, put the mouthpiece together, now we are ready to collect the expired air. So what we do is we put this tube in onto the disc system here. Before I do that, I'm just going to run through some checks to make sure we're going to collect all the gas and there's no, um, no way the expired air can explode. So what you'll notice here, we've got a colour-coded valve system on both sides here. And each disc system here has a, a colour. So this has got a red sticker. That corresponds with the red valves. I spin this around. You'll notice there's a, a blue sticker, which corresponds with the blue valves. And there's a yellow and a green one for bag number three and number four. What we want to ensure is when we start to collect the gas, all these colour valves point in to the left, to the right, they're not pointing up or down. That makes sure that these valves are closed, so when we collect the gas, it's not escaping into the, the atmosphere. Also, it's important to note there's four white ones, two on this side, two on that side. For these, we want to make sure they're pointing up, pointing down, not across, as when they're across, it indicates the top bar is open. So we want to make sure all these valves are closed, so there's no gas escaping at all. Once we're happy with that, happy our mouthpiece is ready to go, we can then connect our tube to the disc. 
This disc has uh, two positions. It's currently open. So as you can see, I can put my fingers through. So when I connect the valve, or sorry, connect the tube in, when the piston breathes in and out, they're just breathing gas out into the atmosphere. The next position, if I close this, the bag, what's happened now is when the piston breathes out, it's connected to this tube here, which goes into the bag. So all the gas that the participants are expiring goes into the bag, and we know this is sealed, and we'll store all our gas ready for analysis. So I'm going to connect this on securely here. Okay, and now I'm ready to pass this to my participant. Okay, so I'm rough. Okay, so the participant's got the mouthpiece in, got the nose clip on, and currently he's just breathing, and the gas is coming out here into the atmosphere. So we're not collecting any gas currently. It's really important when we collect the gas, we know exactly how long we're collecting it for. So generally we might collect gas for 30 seconds, 45 minutes, maximum 90 to 2 minutes. So once I've got my stopwatch ready, so I can record how long I'm collecting gas for, I will then close the disc, start my timer, and now my participant is breathing out, all the gas now is getting collected into the Douglas bag itself. I know because my valves are all closed, the gas is staying within the bag. Once we've collected the time, I don't get the participant to remove the mouthpiece. What I do is when I'm ready, when I know I've collected for the desired time, I then open the system, so I open the disc, and now the participant is just breathing gas into the atmosphere, and I've closed, so I've sealed this Douglas bag itself. And now I can Take all the mouthpiece of the nose clip off the piss bags. Important to still wear your gloves to make sure you're keeping yourself um, and you're protecting yourself as well from the saliva. And that's it.